how to develop expected mean square. This is the basics to all advanced design of experiment. In this example, we'll see uh, the expected mean square development for a fixed two fixed factor with one random factor design of experiment. Some of the common example of this design of experiments, the common name is the mixed factor design of experiment, but sometimes people call it split plot, repeated measure, nested design, hierarchical, all this upper level design of experiment. Without knowing this expected mean square, um, mm -hmm. they could be wrong. So um, let's look at how to develop it. Very simple process. Uh, here he goes. The first thing you do is basically write everything like this table. Um, to quickly explain, A is a fixed factor, so the variance component is written as the effect of A is square divided by the degrees of freedom, and C is the random factor here. So the variance component for that simply sigma is square and the subscript. And you write all the subscript for the effects here on this column. Then also this factor A, B, C in their factor type. Fix factor A, B, fix, C random. And replicate is always random. And also their level. So A is the A level of factor A, B is the B level of factor B, and so on. And N replication. And also the subscript for each of these. Next rule is the... Um, for if the row subscript, for example, this I is a row subscript, does not contain the column subscript, then we bring this level B here. Same thing here, this I does not contain K, so we bring it here. The I does not contain L, so we bring the N here, like this. For example, this IZ does not contain this column subscript k so we bring that c here does not contain l so we bring that n here similarly rest of the cells can be filled up the next rule is for the dead subscript so for example the all replicates all experimental unit or they are nested within the treatment combinations therefore in this uh, last piece, the experimental error I, Z, K, they are, um, they are dead subscript. So if the dead subscript um, matches this column subscript, then you type one there. Next rule is for the random or fixed. If the fixed factor, the row subscript contain the column subscript, then type zero for a fixed factor and type one for a random factor. C is random there. So K, so this K contains this K, so type one in this cell. This came from, if it doesn't contain, then you bring that A there. And then anything in an unrestricted model, the if if one of the factor is random, then everything is considered random. So these are random factors. So so this one contains the column subscript I. So we type one here. This I K contains the column subscript K. So we type one here. So again, this this one contains the column subscript L here so we type one here and it's a random replication is random so this is how you fill up this table the next rule is whatever the interested ems we are trying to develop for example let's say we are trying to develop the expected mean square for bc interaction effect so then we have to basically delete that bc column and then multiply this row stuff so this one with this and this that gets zero. So this time this and this, so that is this. So find the component basically multiplying by all of these like this. And then this one with all this stuff we have inserted here like this. The next thing is we have to look for the expected mean square that contain both B and C. Remember, we are trying to find out the mean square for 
B, C. So you have to see which one contains B and C. So this has B and C. This has B and C. Also the replication has B and C. So we have to add these three to find this. So basically this expected mean square for B, C was basically this one and this one was added to B, C to find this whole thing. Similarly, we can find this entire table here. So that's how you develop the expected mean square for the um, two fixed factor, one uh, random factor design of experiment. Now for the divisor for F statistics, this is simply whatever the error associated with. So for example, this um, um, effect A, expected mean square A, so the error for that is this. So we have to find out which one has this. And if you look at a C part, uh, this guy is same as this guy. So then that would be the, this would be the divisor for the correct F statistics. So to find basically F statistics for A, we'll do MSA divide by MSAC like this. Now this one is a little bit tricky, this um, C, because you don't have anything that contains this piece, which is the divisor for the um, C. So then what do we do? We try to develop a linear combination. So we say in this case there is no exact F statistic, so we kind of do a pseudo or an approximate F statistics by the linear combination of bunch of factors, bunch of um, uh, mean square. So if we do this, AC plus BC minus ABC, that so if we basically do this piece, which is AC and then this piece BC, add them together. So this plus this minus this, then this one, this one cancel. So we'll have this, 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 and this, which is basically this left. So after this linear combination, if we perform this linear combination, we have this left. Therefore, this is the X, the F statistics um, denominator. So to find basically MS um, F statistics for C, F stat for C, we have to do MSC divide by this whole thing. MSSC plus MSBC plus minus MSABC, like this. So this is how you find these F statistics.